What's up everyone, Viz Treaty here and today we are comparing two awesome LDO motors 1.8 degree versus a 0.9 degree on a 48 millimeter long Nemo 17 and stay tuned because at the end of this show there is a giveaway so don't miss that You probably heard of this guy before. It is the LDO Speedy Motor and it's called the Speedy Motor for one good reason. This motor is speedy <laughs> and, and it's really awesome. This is what I've been running on my printer uh, for quite a while now. And this is the main reason why I switched from uh, servo motors to stepper motors. Couple that with 48 volts and you're getting crazy, crazy acceleration, speed and performance. But I also wanted to test this new guy, the LDO, same size, 48 millimeter long, except this one is 0.9 degree. This one was 1.8 degree. So we doubled up the steps per turn, 400 in this one, 200 in this one. And we're going to put them to the test and see if more steps in this case can give us better performance, better quality, because we're not only in into... Uh, speed, we're, we're into quality as well. Speed is nothing without quality. So um, we're going to do five rounds of different tests to compare the two motors. First one will be acceleration, how much acceleration we can get out of these. Maximum speed, the noise, uh, how much noise they make. Uh, resonance test. And the last test will be print quality. So I have a couple tests to run with you guys and, and you'll be able to decide which one would be better for you because at the end of this video, we are giving away not one, but two pairs of LDO motors of your choice, 0 0.9 or 1.8. Um, you decide and I'm gonna give you all the details how to participate at the end of this video. So make sure you watch it entirely and you have a chance to win a pair of great motors. So for the acceleration test, what we're going to do, simple test, we're going to do two types of tests, one at 500 millimeters per second and another one at a thousand millimeters per second. We're only going to do 45 degree movement. So that way there's only one motor that will do the movement and that's going to dictate our, our maximum that we can get out of one motor because in a 3D print, you're always going to get moment when only one motor will do the motion. And we're talking about a core XY like this printer here. So every back and forth movement is going to increment 1K of acceleration until failure. I started the test on this one at 10K and it's slowly going to increase until uh, the printer will fail. And you're going to hear that weird sound telling us that it's, it's, it's failed. So let's see how fast or how much acceleration we can get out of the 0 0.8 degree. So there you go, it failed around 41K. Um, so that was about the acceleration we got out of the 0 0.9. Now let's see with the 1.8. Now into the 1.8 degree motor, the Speedy Beast motors. I started the test at 100K, um, cause uh, it was just too long <laughs> and the video would be very long. So um, we got something around 139K of acceleration, totally crazy. Now onto the thousand millimeters per second, 0 0.9 degree. And it will still get a very decent, like 21, 22 K of acceleration. And now the 1.8 degree, I started the test a bit higher in acceleration because yeah, those motors are still beast. And uh, we got somewhere around 69 or it failed at 70 K. Crazy stuff again, 1000 millimeters per second, 70K. So for the first round, the 1.8 degree wins all the way. For round two, the maximum speed test, I did this manually because I tried with script and I ended up crashing my, my print head. So I had better control manually entering G code and I slowly increased speed of travel until failure. Could probably have gone faster with longer travel distance and lower acceleration, but I was limited with the size of my printer. 
So in the end, with the 1.8 degree, I got a whopping 109, which turns into 1800 millimeters per second. With the 0 0.9 degree, I got a 1200 millimeters per second top speed. So another round for the 1.8 degree. And now onto the noise test. On this test, I still gave the point to the 1.8 degree, even though at lower speed it was a bit noisier than the 0.9. I think it was a more pleasant sound compared to the 0.9, where it's very high pitch and a little aggressive uh, for me. So point goes to the 1.8. All right, now on to the resonance test. As you can see here, this is the X uh, result from the resonance test, and it's about the same. Nothing has really changed. Frequency stayed about the same amplitude of the vibration stayed the same. So my guess is, and correct me if I'm wrong because I'm really not the expert here on this, so comment below. It will be nice to discuss about this, but since I didn't change anything else other than the motors, um, the frequency at which the frame and the rest of the motion system will vibrate or will resonate will not change. Um, that is kind of expected, but I was expecting something higher or lower on the amplitude, but I guess since the motors, they probably have the same amount of inertia, which means they will generate about the same amount of vibration. And I could completely be wrong here, but in this test, and as you can see, this is the Y axis, same thing there, uh, very, very similar results. So I can't say one or the other motor will be better in terms of resonance. They're about the same. And we're gonna take a look at the motor specs at the end of the test and compare that but I think this is anticipated and I will give a equal or both motors will have a point on this test because they're really the same and now on to the last test the quality test which probably is the most interesting out of there I designed two parts to print one is a triangle that will test x y and a diagonal and a round circle. Both will be printed starting at 50 millimeters per second, increments 15 millimeters per second every five millimeter in height, and it's printed in uh, vase mode with a 0 0.6 millimeter nozzle. That way it's going to be easier to see artifacts if there's any artifact, and we'll be able to compare quality. I was hoping to see better quality on the 0 0.8 degree, so we will take a look at the results after we just uh, see the printing first. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well, I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah, I'll tie up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to gains, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you could never own I feel this pain, you already know 
So here you be the judge. I personally couldn't see a lot of differences between the two. I was hoping there would be more, but um, no. At some places I found the 0.9 was better. Some places the 1.8 was better. So not a lot of differences. So I would put those two motors equal for this test. Uh, you be the judge which one you think was printing the best. Um, it's very, very hard to, to differentiate them. So I will just uh, put them uh, equal on this one. All right, so that was it for my test between those two motors, two awesome motors, um, 1.8 versus the 0 0.9. We have to pick up a winner and clearly for me, it's the 1.8. It's faster, it is less noisy and it's just more performance. I didn't see any real improvement or benefits to go with the 0 0.9 in terms of, of printing quality artifacts, VFA. So 1.8 is definitely my choice uh, between the two, but both motors will, will allow you to achieve unicorn print speed and give you all the performance you need and more. So they both can go crazy, crazy high speed, more than you're actually gonna need. So if you cannot find the 1.8 in store because um, it's sold out everywhere because it's a popular motor, then the 0 0.9 might be uh, an option for you. So it will still be a very good motor. Now, I told you at the beginning of, vi of the video, sorry, that I would do a giveaway. In fact, we have two pairs of motors that we are giving away. And to participate and get your chance of winning, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel if you have not done it yet. If you are subscribed, you're already good. Second thing you need to do, go ahead and smash that like button. And the third thing you need to do, you have to put a comment down below and put hashtag LDO motors. And before you ask, if you do it multiple times, it's still not gonna give you more chances. So don't try that. Um, the system will, will, will just pick one of your comment anyway. Um, if you wanna comment for other stuff, then feel free to do it as long as the start, or as long as you put hashtag LDO motors anywhere in your sentence, you're gonna be fine. It's gonna give you a chance to participate and a chance to win. I'll give one week and in one week, the draw will happen. And uh, we're gonna give those motors to the person uh, that will win. So it's gonna be very interesting. Uh, share that video if you wanna bring your friends to that, uh, uh, not contest, but that, that giveaway. Uh, that might give them more trend chances, but less chances for you. So. <laughs> It's, it's up to you, but I know you are a kind person and sharing this will, will, uh, will help your friend, give them a chance to win. So on this, I, I thank you again for watching this one. Um, it, was, it was a fun one to do, uh, time consuming, but very fun. And I hope that it helped you to pick up or to choose between those two. There are other great options out there, but these two are um, one of my favorites motor so on this, I wish you all a good night and see you and talk to you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.